Assassin's Creed 2 is one of the best parts of Assassin's Creed series, however, it still has its sins. Let's look at them today and the Game Data channel. Once I've dealt with you, I promise I'll give her my full attention. The game continues from the point where the last part ended. Lucy then left with Vidic in a short skirt and heels. In second game, when she returned, she was dressed for some reason not at all in the same thing that Vidic did to her so that she had to change clothes and also managed to change clothes in the car on the way, since now there is no blood on the jacket. The most ingenious training that I have ever seen. Useless of course, because the controls are quite simple, but still brilliant. And as usual, this poor indie studio did not bother to even out their running speed. Don't let them get away! <laughs> oh. This is why it is desirable for security guards to give firearms at work and not this dildo of yours. And yes, why are there only 4 guards on this floor, two of which did not even learn how to open the door. Press any button to make sure you know how to press any button. Seriously, if you ask the player to press any button to continue the cutscene, it will not be considered interactivity, it will be considered a pause like everyone else. Instead of turning his head toward the interlocutor, like a normal person, Desmond turns his whole body for some reason. We made the corridor too small and the dialogue too long, so just stand still until the dialogue ends, and when the cutscene starts, just pretend that you have been walking all the time. Yeah, it's not just databases though, I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff risking their lives, little things like that. The British must be an arrogant asshole throwing sarcasm all over the place cliche. He also has an intonation in his voice, as if he keeps telling us that we are all shit and I am so brilliant. We attack only one at a time, in no case we are cultural Italians anymore. And we'll also give them a break for a minute, so that they can chat with each other and take a break, so that with renewed vigor they can beat at the rest of them. The doctor rubbed Aetio's face with some kind of handkerchief, and miraculously all the wounds on his face got rid of blood and sew up. We should head home, Ezio. Father's sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes, and I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. We need to get home faster so as not to get scolded by our father. But let's run a race to the tower and sit there for indefinite amount of time. And after that I will go to my grandmother and only then I will show up at home, my father will no means notice my absence. Give me at least one reason why I wouldn't want to accept this non-miserable story mission. Yes, you don't even have a cancel button. Why did you make this screen, please tell me. And how convenient is that the two random Italian teenagers suddenly have some crazy parkour talents. And why did you even climb here? Just to look at the void for a couple of minutes and that it? Based on his current position on the bed, he blew out this candle with his ass. Who paid us 300 florins? Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I Why then were you in such a hurry to get home afraid of getting schooled by your father? On in all these long years you have never arranged anything like this? Or your father just now decided to react this way? Hey Claudia, how are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. <sighs> it's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I love- The fucking ghost told their girlfriend that her boyfriend was cheating on her. How could they do this to her? Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. 
or I'll just stand and wait for you to smash my face. What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? Why is this not the only question I have now? The second question is how miraculously these feathers manage to lie on the roof against the wind. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will. In time. Then he will not say, because, well, he will die. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. So carefully that while I was walking here, they do not pay the slightest attention to me even if I pass them. There is no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. And you will also have to become an assassin, despite the fact that I did not prepare you for this in any way. All the assassin's abilities will be transferred to you in a costume way. If the designers wanted to create a costume that did not draw any attention to itself, so that the assassins could quietly do this assassin's business, then they failed miserably. And Ezio reacted quite normally to this. Rodrigo came to the door solely so that Ezio could later expose Uberto as a traitor. Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. The ten-year-old son was definitely one of the accomplices. Probably bought eagle feathers to traitors. Guards, arrest him! But before you kill, stand and wait until he runs away. No, it's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house, just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. The phrase north of the cathedral was enough for us to find her sister dwelling. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct... Da Vinci is so brilliant that just by looking at the parchment, he was already built a theory. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. Well, instead of moving away from the doctor, thus allowing the enemy of the city to escape, would it be better if you enter the room to see with your own eyes? And where are the others? Whatever we do will not affect what is happening. In addition to his assassin's abilities, Ezio also had super hearing. There is no other way to explain this. And all the guards went to the campaign to eat spaghetti. There is no other way to explain why they do not attack. The auditorium are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Why was it said? You put on your super duper inconspicuous suit, just the same so that you would not recognize. What was the hope of the person who attacked the poster on the height of the second floor? What sorcery is this? <laughs> For Vieri Pazzi, errors are equipped with witchcraft. In that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. Start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Either you wanted to run away as far as possible to save your family, then you helped Mario out of guilt, and now you want to continue the work your father. In the 15th century there were no such complex structures. I would like to see a man in the Middle Ages dressed as a Renaissance clothes. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I counted two swords, three knives, one bow, two axes and one bayonet. Something tells me that your people will still need something. Lorenzo was stopped in the back, which made him bleed on his chest and began to hold on his neck. Well, you didn't make the textures inside, but why you show them in your faces? What the point of yelling your prophecies from the top of the tallest building in the city? The main villain must definitely kill at least one of the prisoners for a poorly executed robot, so that we can fully verify his villainly cliché. You just need to jump enough to land and ensure. Why are you panicking right away? 
that and what are you doing on this empty stone. And how convenient that right next to the ship on which you were not allowed was a girl in trouble who miraculously in some kind of influential young lady who will help us get on the ship and reward for saving. Running without problems after a shot in the knee. In the world of Assassin's Creed everyone dies with blood on their chest. Why is it that when I hit the sword and hear the sound of metal on metal it bleeds from it? I have already accepted the fact that they somehow managed to survive jumping on the hijack. But are they sure that it is safe to jump all together at the same time in one stack? I thought when we met you were a bit special, but an assassin, hmm. And you couldn't understand this from assassin clothes? Either you didn't notice all the time you had knives stocking in your belly, or Seko managed to pierce you already been dead. No. It can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now you have 1488 and Rodrigo Borgia became Pope only in 1492. Either I'm not so attentive and didn't notice how four years have passed, or they wanted to shit on history authentically. Will Ezio remember that Rodrigo stabbed him with a knife? Of course not. It's the 21st century, you are attacked by an army of negative assholes, and you gave Desmond a renaissance hidden bite. And this wise man didn't think of taking anything other than Dildo. These were all the scenes of the second Assassin's Creed. In the end we can say this part, despite all these mistakes, is the best part of the series, according to many players. Thank you all for watching.